Hi, in this video we will learn about how to write custom code and link it to NetSim. NetSim standard and pro versions come with source code for the protocol libraries and users can modify or add to this code, compile it and then link it to NetSim. This kind of use of NetSim is typically done by researchers who want to extend existing standards based protocols. The example we have chosen for this video is the elementary hello world program written inside NetSim's TCP protocol. Source code for all the primitives is open to the users inside the SRC folder of NetSim's installation directory. We now open NetSim's installation directory in our case c colon slash program file slash netsim standard here you can see four folders namely bin docs src and movie go to the src folder and then open the simulation folder the simulation folder in turn has many folders with protocol names including tcp along with lib and include folders before we proceed to modifying code we will briefly explain the mechanism of how code is linked to NetSim. Inside NetSim's installation directory, you would see a folder called bin. This folder contains the default binaries of NetSim. When users modify code, they place their binary in this folder. This custom binary must have the exact name that the earlier default binary had. So for example, if you have modified TCP source code, then your binary must be named libtcp.dll and then it must be placed in this folder. Now let us go back to modifying and building the code. There are many development environments available to edit and compile C code. This example is done using Microsoft Visual Studio. Open Visual Studio. Create a project by clicking on File, New, Project. A window will appear where you must select Visual C++ and Win32 project which prompts you to enter the name of the project and the location in which the project has to be created. Furnish the required details and then click Next. After clicking Next, another window will appear in which you need to select the application type as DLL and additional option as Empty Project. Then click Finish. In our case, we will name the project as libtcp. We have now created a project and this project is displayed in the Solution Explorer of Visual Studio. Inside this project folder, the following files would need to be copied and pasted. Header files related to TCP from the path source slash simulation slash include. lib files related to TCP from the path src slash simulation slash lib source files related to TCP from the path src slash simulation slash TCP Now we have copied the necessary files into our project. In the Solution Explorer, right click on header files and add the header files which we just copied. These header files commonly contain forward declarations of routines, variables and other identifiers. The benefit of header files is that programmers who wish to declare standard identifiers in more than one source file can place such identifiers in a single header file which other code can then include whenever the header contents are required. This keeps the interfaces in the header files separate from the implementation. Next, we follow a similar procedure for the lib files which are added into the resource folder. and for the source files which are added into the source file folder. Next, we go to the build menu 
and click on build solution the build is complete and inside the debug folder of the project a DLL is created this DLL will be exactly similar to the default lib tcp DLL available in NetSim's bin folder next we will modify this DLL by adding a hello world statement we open the file tcp.c and write the print statement just after the tcp init function Note that we have written fprintf and passed the first argument as stderr and the second argument is hello world. This is because in NetSim we have modified the standard printf function to write to a log file rather than to command line. We add a getch to ensure that the program stops and waits for an input. Next we go and again build this DLL. Inside the bin path of NetSim, we rename libtcp.dll as libtcpdefault.dll. We have just chosen the name libtcpdefault.dll and the important thing is that it is renamed to anything that is different from libtcp.dll. We then go to the debug folder of our project where we created the new libtcp.dll and then copy and paste this into the bin folder of NetSim. This completes the process of replacing NetSim's default binary with a custom built binary. Next, we go to the simulation menu of NetSim in the GUI and create a small network scenario as shown. During this process, care is taken to ensure that TCP protocol is not unchecked when setting the node properties. After completing the scenario creation and traffic modeling, we click simulate and enter simulation time and experiment name. On clicking the simulate button, the simulation commences and as you can see, hello world is printed and the simulation waits for a keystroke. We then hit enter and the simulation completes. This ends our video presentation and thanks for watching.